Hi everybody, it's Noreen, Atticus 9799, here with an episode of What's for Dinner. Um, I think you may have just seen me do the macaroni and cheese, and now I'm going to show you the main course and the vegetable that we're going to have this Sunday evening. We're going to have some baked fish. It's going to be baked over um, a rack of fresh spring vegetables, and I'm going to make some roasted uh, grape tomatoes. So let's see uh, what goes into this dish. I went ahead and took the liberty of um, preparing my pan. I was able to go to the farmer's market yesterday and we had the most beautiful spring onions fresh off the farm on Friday. And I sliced some of those up, including green parts. I put in a handful of matchstick carrots that I had and two stalks of celery that I had go ahead and sliced up. I have two pounds of tilapia fillets here and I'm just going to go ahead and lay these right in here. And if they overlap, that's okay. It turns out there's about 10 fillets in here. This is going to be at least one meal and a lunch or two. And if you haven't tried tilapia, it is one of my favorite fishes. And just make them fit. If you have a larger pan, use a larger pan. If not, this is going to be fine. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I've melted some butter in this bowl. And I'm going to put in some panko breadcrumb. This is Japanese breadcrumb. And you can see, it's very, very crispy. And I'm going to grab a fork out of my drawer. We're just going to toss this breadcrumb in the butter. hands. Get it good and coated in the butter. Then we're just going to sprinkle. This couldn't be simpler. And this is a fairly quick meal. This only takes about 25 to 30 minutes and um, sometimes less. The, the fish will cook rather quickly. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have some sliced lemon here. I am going to squeeze it and then I'm going to lay them in here. I, I like to squeeze them because I like to get the most juice out of them. And it, it does add quite a bit to the flavor. Okay. Now, I am going to add just a little bit of water in here. In the bottom. It's going to steam those vegetables, and in turn, it's going to flavor that fish. I'm going to just pour it in the corner here, and then I'm going to swing it around, and I'm going to pour it in the other corner. There wasn't more than a quarter of a cup of uh, water in there. I'm going to get some seasonings. We're going to get some garlic powder. We're going to go ahead and sprinkle this just about a teaspoon. We're going to get some paprika. And really this this just makes it pretty. You know, my mom did this. I like to do it. I think it's pretty. So there. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add some oregano and some parsley. Here we go. And add just a tiny bit of oregano. That's going to be delicious. And parsley, again, because it's pretty. And I have it, so why not use it? All right, now I'm going to set this fish dish aside because we're going to put the next thing in the oven alongside the fish. What I have here are two pints of grape tomatoes. These are organic grapes. And I'm going to be using my hands, so don't get all weird on me. I'm going to use some olive oil. Not a whole lot. We're going to put some garlic. And this is my prepared garlic. A little bit more. There we go. And this is fresh, is basil that came out of my garden last year that's been hanging by my spice rack. 
And I'm just going to take this. I picked it not too long ago. I'm just going to rub this between my fingers. And it smells delicious. I'm just going to mix this in. And when we roast these next to the fish, these are going to pop open and they're going to be really good. The only other thing I am going to add, and I think I should have thought about that before I stuck my hands in there, but that's okay. We're home, right? Some sea salt. And now my hands are all greasy. Tomatoes like salt. And some pepper. And I'm going to stick my hands back in here and get that all nice and incorporated. All right. Now, I have my oven set at 350 degrees. Put my tomatoes in. And I'm going to put my fish in. We're just going to let those go. So we'll be back in just uh, about a half an hour, and then you know what we're going to do then. It's Sunday night. We're going to fix you a plate because I know you're hungry. So we'll be okay, right back. We're ready to take our fish and our tomatoes out of the oven. It smells fabulous. Here's our fish. It's all hot and bubbly, and those breadcrumbs have browned up and gotten nice and crispy. And here's our roasted tomatoes and the olive oil and garlic, and some of them have cracked and popped, and you could hear them in the oven and getting all crackly. It was really, really wonderful. So, let's get a good look at that, and your mouth is all watery, and you know what happens next. Let's fix your plate. I set your place tonight. Isn't it pretty? Okay. Let's see. Let's get a piece of fish. This looks amazing. And some of these veggies we'll put right over here. A couple of these nice, delicious roasted tomatoes. I know what you're saying. Hey, you didn't leave any room for the mac and cheese. Well, of course I did. We're going to put it in a separate bowl tonight. Grab a spoon. Let's grab one earlier. Give it a good stir. Bring all that sauce up to the top. Doesn't that look delicious? Okay. There you have it. Tilapia and veggies, roasted tomatoes, and fancy stovetop mac and cheese. It's what's for dinner. I hope you try this. And as always, I hope you enjoy it. So until next time, see ya!